Well, hello and welcome to episode four of this Football Manager Save, the Humpty Do Save in the Australian database. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to be going to the Coca-Cola Cup round three fixture between Forestfield United and ourselves. And then we're going to be hitting the road again for a mere 1500 kilometre trip to our Perurulum, which is on the Queensland border. So basically we've done the Western Australian border and now we're going to be looking at the Queensland borders so I did promise you a lot of traveling in this save so in our recent fixtures we have been doing quite well in round 9 we beat Palmerston Panthers 5-1 round 10 we absolutely drudged Litchfield 10-1 in round 11 we only beat Alice Springs 4-1 which is a bit of a surprise considering that they are towards the bottom of the table in round 12 we had a comfortable win over Nullumboy 5-1 so let's see what today has in store as we get into to it okay everyone just before we get into it just a few things around the grounds that we can see adelaide river who are currently second have a star striker in the name of george fuckercarcus now for those of you that are familiar with the marble world universe that we have george fuckercarcus is one of the competitors in that so it's good to see that he's crossed over well and i believe that he is actually the top striker of our division so it'll be interesting to watch his progress through the comp in other news, I came under a bit of stick for letting Leo Keating go, giving him a free transfer to get out of the club. He was very unhappy after I gave him the arse from the captaincy, and there are plenty of people that aren't very happy about that, including one chubby duck who uh, thinks that someone needs to be sacked over that decision. Well, sorry chubby, but if you have a look at our results, you'll see that since he's been gone, our results have improved. We're not conceding as many goals, mate. So chubby, just keep watching, mate, and you'll see us win the comp. So the side for today, it's really good to see that Emil Scammer and Doug Fleeballs have actually got a really good combination in midfield there. I'm sure that's one of the reasons why we're doing so well. And as you can see, Dick Splash is actually on the bench today, giving him a bit of a rest and letting the boy that can't be named have a bit of a run up front. So as we get into the game against Forestfield United, once again, these guys are a team that are above us in terms of where they sit in the division hierarchy. But I'm sure that we'll be more than up to the challenge. As the players are warming up there and we prepare for kickoff. And flea balls with the ball to Wilkins. He's been brought down and we have a what have we got here? A booking? Yes, it's a, is that a red card? It is a red card after two minutes. So that is really going to help our cause as Fisher kicks it out from the back. There's Beans there pushing it forward to Kuifa, who moves the ball forward. Puts a beautiful ball into Fuckboy, but it looks like a Stormtrooper there as well. We'll have a look at that rating. And it's 11 minutes in. Nothing much happening. We've had two shots on goal. Uh, now three, but uh, the opposition haven't had a shot yet. So obviously we're defending well enough. And there's Banks preparing to throw in there to Bookie. He puts it through there. There's Boy again. He has another opportunity, and this time he makes no mistake. So 1-0 in the 21st minute. Very good start in this Coca-Cola round three fixture. Again, this is a competition that we are expected to win, so I would expect us to do well in this game. So Boy, after his early miss, has actually put that ball away quite confidently. And yes, 1-0. As Forest Field have a free kick just outside the box. They put it in, but it sways away. And no problems for the keeper. So Bill Wilkins has got a bit of an injury there. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And in fact, I think we will bring in Harry Dixon Ball. So it's really good to have a player of Dixon Ball's calibre to bring on. And there he is there, putting it in, and boy, he's missed the header. He's put it over the bar. He won't be happy with that. He got himself in good position there as Kuifa prepares for the corner. Puts it in there, and the keeper does well to block it out, but the danger is not gone, and Bookie has put it in the net. So 2-0. Good assist there from Flea Balls as well. Excellent job. So Forestfield with it all to do. Remembering they're a player down here, so 2-0 down with a player down as well I would say we're in the box seat in this fixture so should be able to win our way through to round four if we keep this up there's Bookie 
putting the ball in and it's been defended away but Quifa has retained the ball back to flea balls and there's beans there to flea balls again and then scammer picks up the dredges there after a bad clearance from the defense there's banks crossing it in and again they're, they're defending it stoutly but not really being able to clear it so bannerman with the ball now pushing the ball through but again the defense is there but kicking it straight back to us so we're on the attack again flea balls pushing it through there there's boy and then we cross over to bannerman who again puts a beautiful cross in there and scammer with the head puts it in and it's three nil in the 37th minute so again becoming quite comfortable for the team this time i'm uh, very happy with that and again boy is instrumental in that as he puts it through but this cross this cross from bannerman beautiful ball there and scammer there out jumps his defender and easily beats the keeper we're just moving into half time a 42nd minute there scammer again with the ball puts it back to beans crosses it through there and it's defended there but not cleared properly and there is still danger for forest field scammer has the ball there back to banks preparing to cross it although he's been defended quite well it gets the cross in though that was actually pretty well done Defenders have managed to clear it, but Flea Balls is on the clearance there. Bannerman on the right there. Manages to get the ball through to Flea Balls. And there, Dixon Balls puts in goal number four. So 4-0 four after 43 minutes. I would say this game is already over. They cannot see a 10-man side regaining four goals. Easy finish there. Just a little bit too sharp in the box. The defenders have tried very hard to keep us out but really to no avail as we move into half time so 4-0 very comfortable remembering we've already replaced Bill Wilkins so we've already made one substitution so wet farts is going to come on to replace Robin Banks so that's our second substitution yep and we're also going to bring in Shuma Fat for Rick Astley so we've made three out of our four substitutions. It's good to give some of these younger fellas a go to give them higher grade experience as we get into the second half. Scammer, back to Beans there. And there's Flea Balls there. We're crossing it through there. Defense has it in hand. There's Morgan there for Forest Field. But Tuma Fat there gets his head to the ball there. Nicholson for Forestfield puts the ball forward. This is one of the real first attacking raids that we've seen. And Fish has actually been beaten badly there, but the defence manages to uh, clean it up successfully. There's Quifa who's been brought down. And oh dear, was that a carding? Not really sure, to be honest. But I think they still have 10 men on the field, which is good. We don't want to be beating nine players. That would make for a very embarrassing scoreline I would think so far they defended well this half with 55 minutes in and no change to the score there as Martino puts it out for Forest Field but he's cleared it straight to Bannerman at the back there back to Beans there who just works it up there there's Quifa who's actually been very strong today and Dixon Balls there again they don't have enough bodies in motion going forward there so the defense or our defense is pretty solid and able to uh, defeat anything that they come up with uh, the boy that can't be named has a very ambitious shot there he goes well over the bar there's Queefer again been very big today had a really good game uh, trying to find Scammer there but he's not able to but there's Boy with the ball and then Zimbuki crosses it in but the keeper actually does well there although what's happening here yep they've given away a penalty and we'll see the result of that this is the boy again and he puts the ball away so for five nil in the 65th minute easily beats the keeper puts it pretty well straight down the middle and the keeper goes the wrong way Fisher from out the back puts it straight down the guts there, finds the boy straight away and he puts it over the keeper effortlessly there. 6 0 after 68 minutes. So it's just a matter of how many we can score from now. The boys have uh, done it easy. But I've got to say, Forest feel very badly disadvantaged by having that player sent off so early in the game. Very hard to defend for any stretch of time. 
let alone pretty well the whole game. I know that our only loss of the series was when uh, we had a player sent off halfway through the game. So, yes, it, it's hard to maintain that. So, it, I do feel a little bit sorry for Forestfield, but it is good for us. It means that we progressed to round four without a problem. There's Dixon Balls there. Puts the cross in, and boy, he's defended well by the keeper there. So, 75 minutes in, it is 6 0. So, the boys just winding down now. They've all been very, very thorough in their, in their roles today. Look very comfortable. There's Bookie with the ball, putting it through, went straight to the defence. And they've actually counted quite well here. Can they actually. Oh, good defence there by Dixon Balls there. Getting, getting back and in between the attackers there to thwart that attacking raid. There's Quifa on the right there, looking to cross it in, crosses it in, is unable to find the boy there. But uh, they are unable to clear, and that's been the story of the day. As Bookie puts it back to Chuma Fat there, and there is Farts crossing it back to Bookie, and then again. They, their uh, goal line defence hasn't been too bad this half, but it's been very desperate, and they're really struggling to clear the ball out of their own half. Martino saves the ball there, 85 minutes gone and they will be praying for the siren to ring or the final bell or the final whistle, however you want to look at it. And there we go, it's an easy 6-0 win for the boys and uh, very, very happy with that. Interesting to see Adelaide River 4-0 in their Coca-Cola round there and the man we talked about before, three goals. Mr. Fuckakarkas from Adelaide River. And the team we're playing next actually went down in their game. They had a player sent off in the 22nd minute, which really looks like it crueled them because they only went down 4-3 and they were actually doing quite well there. So yeah, 4-3, unfortunately, that has knocked Alperurulam out of the Coca-Cola Cup. So I guess they'll be very disappointed with that and come very hard at us as we prepare to play them. So just looking at the next round draw for the Coca-Cola Cup, let's see who we actually get in this competition. So we've actually drawn Olympic Kingsway, which once again, they're in the Western Australia Championship, which again is actually higher in rank than us. So again, we're playing a team that are in a higher division, but that hasn't stopped us in the past. So it'll be very interesting to see what actually happens there. Okay, so now we can see that our signing, Randy Sackrider, is actually looking to move back to the United States to sign for North Carolina. Sackrider has been on our bench, but he really hasn't had much of a go. He's a talented player, but at 21, he probably needs more opportunities. He's only going to be a bit part player for us, so it is better for his career for us to let him go. So the side for today, Dick Splash is back up front there. He has a great relationship with Harry Dixon Balls there as well. As we prepare for the dirt again, as we hit Alp Ruralum. Again, a long trip in the team bus there, 15 hours. Apart from anything else, these bus trips are very, very uh, good team building exercises. Although, in, in the heat that we actually travel in, sometimes it can be very uncomfortable. But uh, Alp Ruralum on the attack there, but Farts is able to defuse that. But they go again, and it is Asti at the back with um, flea balls there. There's Farts again. Back to Asti, putting the ball through there. Um, but the uh, Alp Ruralum defence is actually doing quite well, but they're not being able to, to clear the ball effectively or hold on to it. So they're constantly giving it back to us and we've actually put a goal on the board there. Dick Splash for goal 24 of the season. So 1-0 after 7 minutes. You see that flea balls again. Back to Beans. Puts the money ball through and Splash just finishes it off for us. Great job. So two shots on goal there. But um, Alperum defending quite well. But once again, once they defend, they can't actually retain possession which is actually hurting them. So we're controlling the ball very well there. As Dixon Balls has put goal number two on the board. 15 minutes in and it is 2-0. So it looks like another comfortable win as the rain starts to fall. Should create a bit of a muddy field there, but Dixon Balls finishes the win that off easily and with class. So five shots to nil. And uh, controlling the game and the tempo of the game very nicely. 
Again, they are a bit, bit disappointed from their 4-3 loss and losing one of their defenders. I think it was Fran Colic actually, who is actually playing against us. So he's actually uh, hasn't been affected by that send-off. As Alperolan uh, created a bit of a problem there for Fisher, who's able to clean it up effectively. Throws it back to Astley there. And there's Farts there. Pushing it through to Zars, and Zars crosses it over there, is able to find Kerr, and there is a splash for goal, 25 of the season, and 3-0, just before half time, always good to get that third goal, just to put a bit more pressure on things, and there it is, splash very effective at finishing there, and he's able to do the business. Clear this Skundar there. Haven't called him before, um, but we're back on attack with Kerr, and there is Giorgio putting the ball in the center again. Tossing cock off, and there's back to Giorgio. Remember that he was sent off last game that we saw for farting. Alpha Rulam just before half time have just hit back there. So they've done very well. They've cleared the ball, and there was no defenders there. Medino is able to beat Astley very easily and then beat the keeper as well. So an excellent goal just before half time. They're two goals behind, but a good way to finish the half for them. We're going to bring on Goldschmeckel for Astley. A bit disappointed with his effort right before half time. Got to play for the whole half, not the 44 minutes, but the whole half as Upper Ulam in the second half, they're cleaning up and Skanda with the ball puts it out wide there to Medino. He pushes it back there, there's uh, what the fuck. Giorgio's back there to clear. And then they're pushing it forward again. So they are coming at us a bit harder this half. There's Fisher clearing it, putting it down the middle there. And it, oh dear, it looks like, yes, they've, they've been, had a red card again. So that's two, two cards in two games there and Zars puts the free kick away from distance there so 4-1 now just creating that breathing space and noting as well that you know down to 10 men up a rural on pretty well done for today i would say that's disappointing because they were actually turning it around they were 3-1 down but they were pushing um our defense and they were on the attack and as you can see their extra isn't too bad as we bring boy on for splash who's done enough today we want to keep him for more important games now that this game seems to be won. But uh, XG, Alpha Rulam are, are competing quite well. There they are again, there's what the fuck there and he puts it through for Skanda and oh that's a really good save by Fisher. Excellent effort by Jones. I just needed a little bit more on that ball. As we prepare for our last substitution, Giorgio will come off for Bannerman, our captain, who goes on again. And they put a ball straight down the middle, but Flea Balls is back to stop that. There's Giorgio still in the field. That substitution won't happen till our next stoppage. Giorgio again, preparing to push forward. He's, he's had a big run there, and he's just pushed it wide there. Good of him to have a go just before we take him off. And Dixon Balls is going to cross it into the centre there, looking for Boy, but doesn't find him at curb. Cleans up the mess, moves it forward again and has a shot but has kicked it way over the bar there. So 76 minutes gone now, 4-1 still, so comfortable win. But Upper Rulam have actually thrown the, the gauntlet down to us there. XG isn't too bad to be fair, as Boy puts in goal number 5. So, great effort from Boy. And uh, that was uh, his 14th goal of the season, so... Excellent job. Pretty well, if it wasn't already sealed, it, it definitely sealed the game with that effort there. So it was Kerr with the cross. Again, does a great job. And there's Boy with the finish. So excellent job. Well done. So just winding down the clock now. We're in the 80th minute there. Our Perurulum's XG 1.42 isn't too bad. They've had six shots, but four of them on target. We've been a little bit more profligate in the sense 20 shots, but only eight on target. As we hit full time there. 
And looking at the other games, Adelaide River 4-1. So that man, fucker carcass, again gets another goal there. So yeah, on the ladder, we have a two-point lead over Adelaide River. Palmston Panthers is six points behind us. And Alperurulam, who are fourth currently. So again, they gave us a good challenge there for quite a while. And I think that it would have been much closer had that player not been sent off in the second half. They were coming pretty hard when that happened, even though they were still down 3-1 when it occurred. Anyway, that will do us for today and we will see you soon in episode 5. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.